Good morning. My dad and I are here inside Kurt Gowdy State Park. This is in Wyoming. And today we're going to go for Hidden Falls. I think we're looking at about two miles out. I don't know. I've never been here before. Official start time, 7.50 a.m. And I don't think we've seen one other person in this park. And we drove all the way down to the Volin Trailhead and back just to scope out the area. Yeah, we haven't seen one other car. Tons of places to camp out here. Everywhere. I'm gonna have to keep this in mind if I ever get a rooftop tent. There is a parking area just up the hill right here and it is labeled the Hidden Falls Trailhead. We really didn't wanna hike back up that hill on the way back, so we've drove down a little further and parked in that camp spot instead. It's a little chilly out here this morning. However, I think this is gonna be as cold as it gets. I don't think it's gonna do anything but warm up from here on out. Boy, we just came up this initial hill and I'm getting this really good view. It's really pretty out here and stuff hasn't really started to green up yet either. Here in like three months, that's well, gonna be amazing. It's a little chilly right here. I think we're catching some cold air off the water. But look at that rock formation up there. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, and we finally got the map. Boy, I've been looking around for a map all day. All right, we have just looked at the map. We think we're going the right way. We're gonna stay to the right. Yeah, we don't want the Mo Rocca Trail to the left. That looks a little rowdy over there. We just crossed over the water on a really nice bridge, but we just wanna stay on the Crow Creek Trail the entire time. Oh, my dad ain't messing around. He just starts going. All right, looks like we want to stay to the left and on the Crow Creek Trail. I keep wanting to call that the Cow Creek Trail from the Lumpy Ridge, but that's not it. We just passed the cutoff to Sammy's slide. However, we're gonna stay on the Crow Creek Trail and it does look like the trail is going to get a little difficult up here. We might have a quarter mile section where it's going to be uh, expert level. They've got all the trails color coded and thus far we've been on the blue, which is intermediate, but it is going to get black there for a second. 
Looks like we're coming up to another bridge. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it does. We're up here to the next trail split. And it looks like if we stay to the left, that for sure goes to Hidden Falls. All right, this gets interesting right here. Crow Creek to the left, Crow Creek to the right. But I'm gonna go, according to this, to Hidden Falls. And supposedly, this is the difficult section of the trail coming up. And check that out. I was just commenting how much I was loving this trail. And then we came around the corner and saw that, which reaffirmed my thoughts. Yeah, this is great. And I can see why they call this part like difficult. You just kind of got to pick your way through these rocks. It's really not too bad though. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Little kid could. Yeah. And what is going on right here? It's like dried blood or something. It's like in the rock. And we think we have our answer. Maroon colored paint. Maroon colored paint. Mm-hmm. We should be detectives. <laughs> Sergeant Sammy, Private Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we believe we have made it through the so-called difficult section. And it really wasn't that bad. I named thee Sammy Sella. Nobody's going to hear that because the audio on this thing is terrible, but he said he's naming that Sammy Saddle Rock. <laughs> We've made it up to the next trail split. And if you go in this direction, that's Albert's Alley. We don't want that. We're going to stay to the left and continue on up to Hidden Falls. According to the GPS, we have come about 1.73 miles thus far. So I'm thinking we've got maybe a quarter left. Beautiful hike. This trail is really nice. Got some really big trees right here. And this trail is awesome. We're getting close to the end. We've seen some crazy rock formations along this hike. But that one ranks at the top, in my opinion. Super weird. This hike is totally awesome. It is exceeding my expectations. I wasn't expecting all this. I think we're here, guys. Well, we just ran out of trail. I don't know if I see any waterfall right here. 
I'm thinking it's tucked up right there. We're continuing to pick our way through these rocks. We're trying to get back here to see the falls. Holy guacamole, that is slick. Watch out, oh my goodness. And there it is. That's gonna be Hidden Falls. And that's an appropriate name. I mean, you'd have to swim back there to actually see it, which I guess you can do. We're just sitting here in this little oasis spot. Really cool. It took us about an hour and 20 minutes to get out here. GPS was showing it at just over 2.2 miles. And this is a really great hike. A total hidden gem. All right, guys. It's almost 940, which means we've been sitting up here for about 20 minutes or so. However, it is a little chilly, so it is time to go. It's time to head on back. All right, let's do it. I'm thinking this is gonna take us about an hour to hike back, maybe a little longer. And right here is where the Mo Rocca Trail dumps in. So really, if you wanted you know, a bigger challenge, you could take the Mo Rocca Trail this entire distance. And on the map, it shows that trail as all black, so the entire thing is rated as difficult. Whereas the Crow Creek Trail is mainly intermediate, and it goes by the water the entire time. So this is going to be the family-friendly version. These rocks out here are crazy. Look at that one. Looks like a little cannon sticking out. almost done with this thing. <laughs> Look at that crazy rock. <laughs> done coming up this very last part and then we should be parked right here off the street all right guys and we're back and there are bear in this area I can believe it it is just now 10 50 so that took us an hour and 10 minutes to hike back. And I believe we're looking at about 
2.2 miles in each direction. All right, nice job. Boom, got it. We are in Kurt Gowdy State Park in Wyoming. Kurt Gowdy, in case you don't know, was a very famous sports broadcaster back in my day. But uh, anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. We come from uh, the Rocky Mountain area in, in Rocky Mountain National Park, and it's just two totally different environments. And they're both pretty in their own way. And I don't know if he's going to tell you this or not, but I crashed and burned. <laughs> but we won't tell anybody, OK? It was kind of ugly. I wasn't going to embarrass anybody, but since he said yeah, that. well, I, I mean, since we're talking about it now, it was like a base first monkey bar into the tree, swing around, land on your back through the tree. It wasn't very good, but it could have been so much worse. And just for the record, I remember Kurt Gowdy. Kurt Gowdy, gonna call some baseball. Well, we hope you enjoyed that hike. And until the next one, y'all, peace.